there is nothing exciting about my day yesterday. On paper, at least. I'm trying something a little different today, and I think just for about a week, we'll see a couple days, maybe a week, we'll, we'll see what, what it ends up being. My entire life, I have eaten the same way. Maybe timing and schedule around when I eat has pretty much been the same as long as I can remember. I eat in the morning, I eat a snack, I eat lunch, I eat a snack, I eat dinner, and I probably have a snack. Even throughout like when I lost all the weight, when I lost like 40 pounds, it was still maintaining the same eating structure but with different foods and counting my macros, but not much change there in the sense of timing things out. I tried RP Strength for one day, two days, and I hated, I hated how structured it was. I hated how at every moment I felt like I was thinking about food, how am I gonna fit this food in, when am I gonna eat. I'm trying something today, next week, next, we'll see, we'll feel it out, feel how my body responds to it, but it is intermittent fasting. As best as I can, I'm gonna follow the 16 hours fast, eight hour feast, with it being somewhere between 11 to seven, 12 to eight, one to nine, kinda of depending on the schedule, depending on the day. But kind of fitting in that time frame, I am going to try that. I am constantly feeling bloated. I've cut out a lot of dairy. I've cut out a lot of what normally makes me feel bloated and I still don't feel like as lean as I could. With as much work as I put in, with as much as I try in the gym, um, I don't feel as lean and as like athletic as I feel I should. So I'm just experimenting. I'm not saying this is the way to go and I'm not saying I'm an expert on this issue. I'm experimenting and I'm figuring it out. So today's a full day of eating, but it's a little different because it is going to be intermittent fasting style. It is 10.30 right now. Today, um, I'm not gonna eat until one and I'm gonna work out at noon on my lunch. Kind of nervous about it, but I feel if I'm gonna fast this time, then I might as well work out fasted and then allow my body when I'm repairing after the workout to get all the nutrients. That's what I'm trying. We'll see, we'll see how it works. My day was essentially a series of commitments that I set for myself. All right, and it is now 12 o'clock. I'm on my way to, oh, it's almost 12 o'clock. I'm on my way to the gym right now. I haven't eaten yet. Feeling good, but I definitely feel more lethargic than normal, but I don't feel like angry and upset, which I normally do when I'm hungry, so that's good. Now we're gonna go work out, and um, that'll bring me to my last hour of fasting and I'll be able to eat. Essentially yesterday was a series of commitments that I set for myself that I was executing. Work, working out, and uh, worship practice. So the first part of this workout is two hang snatches, full squat, every minute for 15 minutes. Let's do it. Okay, that workout was so much harder than it needed to be. It's movements I'm weak at. If you've been here at all on this channel, you know I hate snatches. That workout was hard, I'm shook. Honestly, I'm like, like shaking. That might be the food I need to eat. Written down on paper, that seems like a blah day. I, mean, I have to meal prep my stuff beforehand. I have to get everything ready the night before so that when I wake up, I'm ready to go and just get going. And it can seem boring, and it seems like a whole bunch of little things. Those little things, those little commitments, those little things you do to set yourself up for success, those are the big things. It is so simple. It's chicken, barbecue chicken on the barbecue from Labor Day holiday, green beans, and rice, 150 grams, six ounces of chicken, 
I'm also getting this uh, brand new ghost peanut butter milk vegan protein. <sighs> it's so good. I mix it with a um, hint of honey vanilla almond milk. That's really good. I'm a fan. And then we'll see how I'm feeling, but I think I'm gonna, I got a bang energy, mainly for the BCAAs, for the creatine. If I'm not feeling energy, I have powder that I could just mix with water. But that's the first meal of the day, and I'm so hungry. <laughs> Everyone wants this exciting life. Everyone wants to be doing something different every single day, going to these exotic places, and I want that too. Trust me, I do. <laughs> But that's not where I'm at. That's where most of the people here, you're not there. So how can you make success out of the day that you have now? You plan it, you execute it, you make sure that you do all the little things you need to do because those will add up. Okay, so I've taken a shower. We have one at work, took it at the, on a, I took a shower. And now I'm eating a snack before dinner, which is one banana, one orange, cut up and a kind bar. This will get me until the end of the day, the work day, and then um, I'm going to have my dinner after that. Okay, just got off work, so it's Wednesday night. Let's go to worship rehearsal. Okay, for my last full meal of the day, I've got turkey burgers on Dave's killer bread with pepper jack cheese and ketchup and mustard. It's simple, but it's good. If you are consistently hitting the gym, if you are consistently eating correctly, if you are consistently taking time and prioritizing your health and your life, you will see a change. And you may not have that crazy exciting life that you see on other vlogs and that you see on YouTube and just whatever on these major channels, but if you can make the most out of the life that you're given, that is how you are able to take on more. That is how you are able to do more.